today is that um, fasting does good things for the brain. One thing that happens when you fast that does not happen when you eat three meals a day is that your energy metabolism shifts so that you start burning fats. And you produce what are called ketone bodies. Now it turns out uh, ketone bodies are very good for your brain and I'll talk about that in a minute. So what do I mean by intermittent fasting or intermittent energy restriction? There's a lot of variations that are being un used on this. This book called The 8-Hour Diet, uh, there's evidence that if you restrict the time window that you eat each day to 8 hours or less, that's long enough to shift the energy metabolism. Okay, why does fasting bolster brain power? Fasting is a challenge to your brain. And your brain responds to that challenge of not having food by activating adaptive stress response pathways that help your brain cope with stress and res resist disease. Why is it that way? Well, if you're hungry and haven't found food, you better figure out how to find food. You don't want your brain to shut down. And in fact, that's what we find in the animals. Nerve cell circuits are more active. Um, some of the changes in the brain that occur with intermittent fasting also occur with vigorous exercise. Exercise and intermittent fasting both increase the production of proteins in the brain that are called neurotrophic factors. We found that these neurotrophic factors such as FGF and one called BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, promote the growth of neurons, promote the connection of neurons and strengthening of synapses. Lower right. Recently we discovered that Fasting, by increasing BDNF levels in the brain, this neurotrophic factor, uh, can increase the number of mitochondria in your nerve cells. I mentioned ketones, which uh, come from burning fat, and that happens during fasting. We're doing in my work in my lab, trying to understand why ketones are good for neurons. One reason is they provide an alternative fuel for the neurons that boost the energy levels in the neurons.